Hi guys, this is just a quick video to let you know what you're gonna need for next day's five day fast. Also a little rough outline of what you can expect from it. So you're gonna need plenty of raw veg and fruit. Um, anything that you like. Uh, I tend to say, go with your intuition, go to the supermarket, run your hands across the fruits and veg. Generally your left hand, this is what we feel more with. We generally tend to receive with the left hand more and give with the right hand. So run your hand across the fruits and vegetables and feel which one intuitively feels right for you. Your body's a very, very clever instrument that will generally pull towards you what, you've, what your body needs the most. Um, juice wise, I've had a lot of you guys contacting me saying what juices will you need. I wouldn't buy anything from the supermarket. A lot of the stuff in the supermarket is ultra high temperature treated, it's pasteurized, um, and it's got all sorts of additives in it. The citric acid. Now, citric acid is something that it's cleverly labeled this to make you think that it's an acid from a fruit, but in the majority of cases, it's a black mold that's actually genetically modified that affects the alkalinity of the fruit juice. So, um, if you haven't got a cold pressed juicer yourself, um, I'm gonna put a link in the description below and a picture of my friend Gary's juicing company. It's called Alkalize Me and it's based in Lee Green near Greenwich. If you can get to him, he will give you 10% off the juices. If you can't get to him and he's gonna post it out to you, he'll give you a bundle of say ginger shots or a bundle of something as a gift from ourselves. Um, I use Gary's juices when I'm fasting myself and I also use his juices when I'm running retreats. Um, my last seven day retreat, we used all of his juices and the majority of people that came along are still using his juices today. It's also got a great nut milk. Um, so yeah, get in contact with him if you, if you can't make your own juices. So what can you expect from this fast? You can expect weight loss if you want to have some weight loss if that's your intention i've done fast where i haven't lost any weight um, let me know whether you want to lose weight or not lose weight beforehand because there's certain subconscious things that we will plant seeds towards and certain energy exchanges that can help you to lose weight or can help you to maintain weight so it's very important that you let me know this beforehand um, you can expect to clear out of all the old cells within the body. It eats away all the old proteins that are no longer needed. Um, it also gets rid of a lot of stored emotion within the body. So any, any emotion that you're carrying around of fear, shame, guilt, maybe from a young age that's stored in the walls in the fat cells for emergencies, that's gonna come up for a release. So it's like taking a rucksack full of shit and just going, don't need that no more, ta -da, mate. And then what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna ask you guys to have two liters of alkaline water. Now this is my favorite one, it's Aquavia. And they sell it in Sainsbury's for about a pound. It's a natural mineral water and it's 9.4 pH. Anything above seven pH is alkaline. Anything below seven pH is acidic. Generally we wanna keep the body in an alkaline environment because cancer can't survive in an alkaline environment. Illness can't survive in an alkaline. A lot of illnesses can't survive in an alkaline environment. Uh, on the first couple of days, I'm going to be asking you to squeeze a whole organic lemon into this and to put a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. Now, for those of you who are more science based, you'll know that when we remove minerals from water, the water is non-conductive. We can't pass a charge for it. Pink Himalayan salt has got 84 of the minerals, the 92 minerals found in our blood. So it's, it assimilates with the body very, very well. It also helps us to charge the water. So studies by Masuro Emoto have shown, if you've seen the previous video, that when we speak to water, I love you, it creates a very positive charge within that water, a very angelic crystalline environment. Um, when we speak non-lovingly to it, I fucking hate you, it'll create a really, really polluted, non-geometric shapes within that water. Our bodies are 72% water. This is how sound and words can affect our energy field and our vibration if we give our permission for it to. I can show you ways to stop this from happening. Um, but what this fast is about, it's about clearing out, clearing the inside of the cup so the outside of the cup becomes clean. A little saying from the Bible, because when we refresh the inside of the body, our energy field, our torus, then becomes clearer. And generally our reality is created by the words, thoughts and feelings that we constantly think and emit, which then put into our energy field and our vibrational field. And then these vibrations are then drawn towards us because what we place into this field creates a vibrational field around us. And then we draw that vibration towards us. So this week is going to be clearing this field around us and also intentionally placing 12 affirmations 
thoughts and feelings and words constantly into this field and into this water. Now your body is gonna be depleted of the water because you're gonna be hard dry fasting or dry fasting for 72 hours. So this is basically, as I said, like taking a hard drive out of a computer that's full of crap and going, thank you for serving us. We're grateful, we appreciate everything you've done. Ta-da, throwing it in the fire. And then when we break the fast, every day we'll be saying, holding, feeling, speaking and repeating positive affirmations. I'm abundantly healthy, I'm abundantly prosperous, and I am abundantly happy. So this water's gonna be highly charged, and this water's gonna be kept with you throughout the night while you're sleeping. So it's in your energetic field for eight hours, therefore it's charged by your energy. When we break the fast, we do a ceremony where we repeat it again, we hold it, we feel the vibrational frequencies of every affirmation we want. So I am happy, I hold the water and I close my eyes and I bring in that feeling of happiness. I recall, say when your daughter was first born or when you got your first car, you bring in that joy and happiness. And then you bring in the next one, I'm happy, I'm prosperous. And you bring in when you made your largest paycheck and you draw that in. You're drawing that vibrational frequency and you're creating it and emitting it into the water. And then when we break the fast, we drink it with as much gratitude for the water. We thank the water and it will be the best goddamn tasting water you ever had in your life literally it'll be better than any meal you've ever had ever because you're going to be three days dry fasted now this has had profound effects on many of the people and i've guided over 2,000 people through various types of fast in the last five years um, we've had people who suffer from inflammation within the body that stop taking medication and leave um, I also advise you to watch a film this week before we start the fast on YouTube called Grounding or Earthing. Just type in Earthing on YouTube. I'll pop a little link in the description below. This talks about the bare feet, proton, neutron, and electron exchange that clears inflammation from the body. Now, just a little summarize. If somebody's got 65% inflammation within their body, uh, that's kind of like a a dam within a river it's, it's storing energy as an inf there's inflammation building up there's a blockage you're not free to channel the abundance that is available to you doctors will give you a load of prescriptions for this and then you're going to need more medication to get off that and more medication to get off that whereas if you was to go and stand on grass for 45 minutes 95 percent of this inflammation disappears because nature nurtures us and the best place for rest is the forest all the answers are there right in front of your face Sometimes the things that are hidden in plain sight are the hardest to see, but not anymore now that we're all holding much more integrity and speaking our truths. So this week is about coming back online. It's about becoming more of a light body because you are gonna become lighter. Uh, you're gonna shine brighter. You're gonna to start to feel more nourished and you're gonna be using purer forms of energy, in my opinion, um, instead of denser things like foods. Um, when you break the fast, you'll be breaking it with the juices and then you'll be going on to raw veg and fruits, which is raw fruit or fruit is 90% water, raw veg is 70% water. So we gradually increase the density of it. And what happens is you spend a lot of time up in higher frequencies. So it's nice for the next few days after you finish the fast, just to chill, to relax and to process everything that you're bringing back into this density because you're in higher vibrations. Now you're bringing that information back into the lower realms. Um, so always ask for these downloads to come with ease and grace. It always helps in my opinion that when you repeat of a night, when you finish your day, please help any of the processes I've gone through to be integrated with ease and grace. Um, I'm gonna try and keep this video below 10 minutes because I'm gonna be posting in here pretty much every day until we fast now. I'll also be posting a video tomorrow with a salt flush cleanse that I want you to do on Monday. Um, this is warm water, pink Himalayan salt and lemon juice, which you will need to drink as quickly as possible um, and it will go straight through you. So when you drink it, make sure you've got an hour to two hours to sit by toilet because I would not want you to get caught short because it will literally sound like you're pissing from your asshole. Um, and it clears your whole body out ready for us to start this fast. If you have any questions, please do feel free to message me directly. My phone will be on 24 hours a day during the fast. So if you feel like you need to break the fast in the middle of the night, I've had people phone me at two o'clock in the morning and for me to do an energy process or an energy exchange with that person, for them to then finish the fast, it is much more empowering for that person to do that. Um, I hope you're all having a great day. 
Lots of love. Namaste.